Welcome back. Um, I wanted to talk about uh, actually setting up uh, a program on the uh, Gordias little giant down here. Uh, so let's just get started. First things first, uh, connect the USB cable to the uh, computer that the control center is installed on. You'll go over here. Make sure you select um, you know, this MIDI in 3 and MIDI out 3. The other ones don't work. Uh, it took me a while to figure out actually. And then just hit to connect the little giant. This little wire should be black, uh, not with a big X through it. Uh, so let's just get started here. Uh, first thing I want to do is uh, talk about patches. Uh, and essentially what this is is a list of items you can uh, send um, MIDI messages on. And so uh, it's uh, pretty much the core uh, part of uh, the, uh, for, for doing patch uh, and presets uh, on the little giant. And so what I've done here is I have a patch for every type of message I want to send. Uh, these first ones here are amplifier messages and I, they get sent to the Ignator Mod 50 um, which can read uh, PCs you know one two three four corresponding exactly to each one of the channels on the um, Ignator amplifier and so to add messages you select the message type over here uh, and the data to send uh, as well uh, so that's pretty straightforward uh, you can just keep adding uh, presets here if you'd like you just hit this little plus icon here you can rename it up top uh, and uh, you know that's about it. Uh, to add a new message, uh, you can keep adding multiple messages. The second message, I believe, is on the foot switch depress. So I think that's first message. And then when you release, it sends another one if there is one in that category. Uh, since we don't need anything for that, um, we won't send it. Um, so what I've done here, uh, I have Guitar Rig running behind me. And that's what actually all this stuff is controlling. Uh, so you can see it's you know selecting different patches and whatnot. Um, but each one of these PCs that, that are in the uh, patch setup over there correspond to each one of these little numbers right over here. And that's a program change. Uh, and Guitar Rig reads uh, program change messages uh, to change their, uh, the presets on, on that software. Uh, so that's how I have it set up. And so for each PC, uh, you know what I haven't named it uh, with the Guitar Rig uh, uh, preset is named. And the reason I do that is for modularity. Uh, and you'll see why in a second uh, when we do presets. Uh, later, that's where you would actually change the name, and I'll show you why I just use you know generic names over here. But if you look at each one of these, sends a program change on the particular uh, with a particular data that corresponds to that program change uh, number. And so for PC018, that's going to send program change 18 to the guitar rig on this channel. These guys right here are already named; uh, these are variable names. And so in the previous video, I, I covered where they were. Uh, and then you have Stompbox uh, patches, and I'll talk about that in a second. Uh, well, actually, I'll probably talk about that later when I talk about um, this little aux box down here, uh, which I have set up. Uh, and then you have momentary effects, uh, and these are as the name applies. You, you hit the button, it sends one stream out, uh, and it doesn't like toggle or anything like that. It's, it's kind of a different type of uh, activation there. And so uh, each one of these is a momentary uh, uh, trigger. Uh, and I have a looper in Guitar Rig, uh, which is uh, down, down here. Uh, this is the loop uh, station in Guitar Rig. Uh, and I have a special bank, uh, which actually enables uh, use of the looper. It's, yeah, the looper bank. And one does play, stop, rewind, forward, undo, etc., etc. And all those are momentary effects. And again, uh, oh, by the way, in Guitar Rig, uh, uh, if you do this, all of, anything besides program changes are note messages. So if you're trying to... Uh, adjust some modulation parameters. Don't use PCs, use note on offs, okay? And so uh, for momentaries, I have down is note on, and then since momentary up is going to be the, um, or immediately after, thereafter, it's going to be the note off. Um, and so that's the same note though, not, not a different note. So each one of these, I've just, just picked a random uh, note message. I've read, wrote it down somewhere. Uh, and tap tempo as well, uh, that's a very important one to have for anything you want to synchronize to a song tempo or uh, to control delay uh, times and things like that. So that's pretty much it. Um, uh, and now we have preset setups. And this is kind of a, a more global, uh, higher level uh, setup. And this is the preset setup is actually what you will put in, into uh, each one of these uh, buttons. And so, you know, if you go down to one of these patches here, uh, each one of these buttons here, that one's apparently empty. Uh, let's go to the first one here. Uh, each one of these will trigger a, um, each one of these buttons triggers a different uh, preset setup. So, to my knowledge, you can't put direct patches in this column, stuff in here, uh, into the uh, Gordius unless it's in the preset first. So you can just copy it one to one uh, and then install it, but you can't put a patch directly in there until it's been put in that preset uh, column. 
So anyway, in, in the preset setups here, again, you'll see the same things. And these are those, this is an example of the one-to-one -one thing. So if you go back to patch real quick, the Igniter Channel 1 and the preset uh, Igniter Channel 1 are the same exact patch. They're essentially the same thing because I don't have any extra stuff added to it. Uh, and so that's how you do a one-to-one -one mapping, and that's the simplest case. And actually, when you first set up all your patches, I'll do this first, spend a lot of time here, and then what you can do on preset setup is hit the sync button, and it'll fill all these in automatically with all those patches. Okay, so it's actually quite useful and saves a lot of time that way. And so, uh, again, these patch presets here, um, a lot of them are one-to-one, -one, but some of them are not. And that's what I want to talk about now. So my naming scheme here is pretty simple. I'm trying to condense a lot of information in a short name so it fits on the screen here. So when you're on stage and whatnot, you can, you can read uh, what they are and you kind of get some more information. And so the first digit here uh, represents the, the channel of the amplifier. So that, channel, that amplifier has four channels. Uh, so three will be the, uh, I guess, the, the semi-lead before it gets crazy. Uh, and, you know, uh, channel one is the clean channel. Channel two is kind of a crunch channel. Uh, based on the clean, just a little more gain there. And so uh, that, that, that number only takes up one space uh, in alpha alphanumeric sequence there, so that's kind of a handy thing to do. Uh, and then the rest of it's the patch name. So if you look in Guitar Rig, uh, I just have that selecting, you know, reverb here. Uh, you know, this one should be organic delay, as you can see over here. Um, and so uh, it's kind of nice. And this is, uh, if you haven't guessed already, these are combined patches. So it's sending a couple different uh, messages on different MIDI channels. It's sending one to Guitar Rig, and it's sending another one on the uh, MIDI channel assigned uh, for our amplifier. And so the way to do that is, uh, first again, you have the main patch, and that's tied to PC002, which again over here, uh, if I click that, uh, let's see, wait, I got the wrong one. Uh, I'm looking at the wrong patch over here, I'm sorry. Uh, so what is this one? It should be seven, organic delay. Uh, it should be one of these guys over here, this guy. And so again, you see right there, it's PC07, and over here you see that's, uh, uh, the program seven on the uh, in guitar rig. Uh, so anyway, but it also has the channel information, and here's why uh, I leave the patch set up uh, kind of with generic names, um, because uh, if you actually uh, look on my list over here closely, uh, you see that I have two uh, of the same exact patch, which is seven. So it's using the same effects in guitar rig, but I've just have different amplifier channels selected. So if I hit uh, this patch right here, which is you know, happens to be this first one here. Uh, that's going to be the organic delay using Igniter channel 1, and you would put that extra patch uh, messages that, that have to be sent in the extra patches uh, 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 column here, this list right here. And you do that just by selecting a plus, and again, all of your patches show up, and you can select whatever one you want. And uh, pretty much I, I leave this just for the amplifier channels, but you can do whatever you want, whatever you need. Uh, but that's why um, I leave those other ones kind of generic. Um, because uh, I can just rename them here. I don't have to rename them twice and whatnot. And plus, they will be different names anyway because, uh, you know, this one's channel two and whatnot, and I'd have to add it and et cetera, et cetera. Uh, so anyway, all these different things, you can see they have different channels. Uh, I use simultaneously for how I send the messages. It, it probably doesn't make too much of a difference, but um, for me, I don't have problems sending it at the same time, so I guess it's technically faster. Uh, but that's something you can note there if, uh, you know, you need... Uh, but again, just all of these guys here, and, I, and I, you know, as I mentioned before, I rename them only in the preset setup. And so PC010 is exactly as named over here. And that sends program change 10, which corresponds to uh, the flanger uh, preset in Guitar Rig. Uh, so moving on, um, you know, that, I think that's pretty straightforward. I don't really have anything fancy going on uh, in the presets or uh, patch presets. Uh, other than maybe a bypass column, I always have a bypass and I have it tied to like one of these buttons over here or up here maybe. Um, and that just bypasses all effects in Guitar Rig if you need. Uh, it's, this button's kind of out of the way so I use that one. So um, if I have a problem on stage or something or something goes crazy, I can just hit that button and hopefully everything goes back to normal.